You know security is hard, so let's assume We're probably gonna get pwned by noon But if we all start to get the basics right We might not fully get pwned until Hey everybody, welcome to the 7 Minute Security Podcast and to our continuing series on hacking the OWASP juice shop. Now if you missed last week's episode, go check it out because we talk all about what the juice shop is, how to get it up and running, how to get Burp Suite configured and Foxy Proxy configured so that you can start attacking this vulnerable web app and uh, keeping track of your score here on, on the scoreboard. So... Um, with that background in mind, I think we are ready to just continue turning as many of these vulnerabilities to green as we can. So let's start with one that's probably going to be straightforward. Let's try to pop an XSS box by uh, plopping this text into the search box. Bam, there we go. Now that's the easy one. There are several levels of XSS. We're going to tackle the rest of them next time, but I just like to see a little bit more green on the scoreboard. It kind of makes me feel good. Um, now I want to revisit one that we started talking about last week, and that was uh, logging in with the administrator user with valid credentials. So instead of uh, kind of cheating using SQL injection, let's try to get the administrator's legitimate password because uh, we're, it looks like we're going to need that in order to unlock some of the other achievements. So I'm just going to do the same thing I did for prepping a, a SQL injection attack. I'm just going to try to log in with admin at the juice op domain because uh, last episode we figured out that was the administrator's email address. And then I'm going to take that post. I'm going to send it to intruder. And this time I am going to try and fuzz the password field and see if we can get a hit on a legitimate password. So under payloads here, I'm just going to choose a big fat list of passwords and we'll see if we can strike gold. And even though the attack is only part of the way through, if we sort these results by length, we will see one bigger than the other and that is the payload of admin123 which looks quite promising for us. So let's go over and try admin123 as the password. Suspense is killing me. Okay, and we're in. So let's refresh our scoreboard, make sure that we've got uh, credit for that. And it looks like we do. So electronic high fives for everybody. Now, I want to look at one in particular that's been catching my eye that uh, I just I can't resist any longer. Let's look at this one called Place an Order That Makes You Rich, because who couldn't use a little bit more cash? Now, this one is going to give us good practice playing with a burp intercept and letting us tinker with requests as uh, they go across the wire. So let's head over to our shopping cart, and then let's turn on burp intercept. Now you only want to do this when the web browsing you're doing is very quiet. So in other words, don't be running a bunch of brute force tools or uh, you know, surfing or crawling other sites because with intercept on you are kind of like the bouncer for web traffic and you've got to approve or drop every request that comes through the browser. Okay, so once that's on, let's add something to our cart and you'll see in the background there that burp caught it and is basically wanting to know, what do you want me to do with this? Should I forward it through like normal, or do you want to tamper and tinker? So let's forward the first one, because I don't see anything here that, that makes me believe that we can tamper with the cart. However, down here, look at this. Quantity of three for this item. Well, let's have some fun and change it to a negative three with a whole bunch of zeros. And what that is going to do is make the item cost a negative balance which is going to accomplish our goal of making us rich. So let's have a look. Oh my goodness. That is quite a steal I'd say. They're paying us a lot of bucks to buy their rotten apple juice. So let's check out and see if indeed that worked. Oh, of course I have 
eating my own words here. I'm going to turn the interceptor off. And look at that. Pretty good day at the old juice shop, I'd say, folks. Let's take a look at our scoreboard and verify that we indeed are very, very rich at this time. Yes, we are. Awesome. Very, very cool. Very, very fun. All right, so let's try that trick one more time by giving a devastating zero-star rating to the store. Uh, let's go under... Is it complaint? might be under Contact Us. All right, let's go under Contact Us, and we'll leave a colorful comment here about how great the online shopping experience is. And let's leave it at three stars, but let's turn on Intercept. And then we'll allow the request through so we can play with it. All right, let's have a look. And there's our comment and there's our rating. So let's go ahead and change that to a big whopping fat zero. And we'll let that through. And we can either just keep hitting forward or just we can turn intercept off to kind of resume traffic as normal. And there we go. We have now left some not so happy news feedback for the staff. Okay, let's do a couple other intercept tricks to uh, round this episode out. Let's try to access someone else's basket. So the approach is kind of going to be the same. I am going to turn on intercept and then I'm going to load my basket. And as you can see, Burp caught the request. So let's take a look at it and see if we might be able to tweak it to accomplish our objective. So there's a get request for rest slash basket slash one. Let's just go ahead and change that to two. And we can see actually right in the intercept there that uh, we've done it. Uh, now you may have noticed at the top there, you see the green bars showing uh, the challenges we've unlocked. That is uh, available in the latest Juice Shop Docker image. Uh, they have tweaked the uh, achievement unlocked feeling. So you get to see your success both in you know, the scoreboard as well as kind of real time with a little ticker, if you will, on the top. So I really like that. That's a nice touch. All right, so we're kind of pushing our time here. Let's just do one more since we're kind of in this pattern of uh, using intercept to our advantage. Let us go ahead and let's post some nasty feedback in somebody else's name. So let's flip over to the contact us form and leave some nice, friendly, passive aggressive feedback for the staff and uh, yeah we're not very happy we're gonna leave one star let's get our intercept turn back on let this go okay so intercept has caught it let's play again and see if we can't uh, adjust this okay so it looks like we're user ID one let's just change that to two and then to really you know bury the hatchet let's leave another killer zero star rating. Uh, and then we'll forward those through or we'll just turn off intercept and we have done it. Let's pop up the scoreboard just to be absolutely sure. And sure enough, there we go. We have posted some feedback in another user's name. All right, I think we put a serious dent in the scoreboard today. So uh, I think we will call it an episode, but uh, next time I want to kind of do a Quentin Tarantino and, and back up to the beginning and do some enumeration to, to find some of these hidden resources. See, we've got a confidential document, a developer's backup file, a salesman's forgotten backup file, and also a hidden Easter egg that we need to hunt down. So uh, we'll use Burp and potentially some other tools. Uh, to look at those and then uh, we're also going to do some SQL injection and see if we can't find some of the other users uh, that are mentioned on the scoreboard that we need to log in as one way or the other. So uh, I hope you guys have a great day and a blessed week and if you need me my contact information will follow shortly and we'll uh, we'll see you next time. Bye bye. You've been watching or listening to an episode of 7 Minute Security a weekly podcast focusing on IT and information security topics such as penetration testing, network configuration, virtualization, and career advice. For more information, visit www.7ms.us.